What is Parkathon? It is a hackathon for Parkinson's, helping people with Parkinson's to customize and build their own solutions by connecting with creatives, designers, and makers, as well as startups, researchers, and others building the next generation of technologies for Parkinson's. Welcome to Parkathon. Today's guests are the founding team for Charco Neurotech, and Charco is developing a novel vibrating wearable that provides haptic cueing, vibrational cueing, which includes discrete medication alerts, in addition to focused viral tactile stimulation, which does have some potential to become a new, non-invasive and non-pharmacological intervention for Parkinson's. Charco have developed a hardware and an application together to improve the movement, give medication alerts, and track the symptoms. So um, the results of the testing, so where time to complete task was showing 16% improvement. You, we also carried out unified Parkinson's disease rating score, which have been showing nine points difference. Person who has Parkinson's to see and relate that to reality um, themselves, and then have reports that they could share at least on their device with their clinician when they see them. The data needs to be useful for you so that you can... Being able to share our data, not just with our doctors, but with others and with scientists and researchers like yourselves. Just to give something functional to the people living with the disease and the data itself will happen because they'll provide it. They'll build the data set for you, but not if they don't use it. Sorry, to, I'm going to reinforce the question regarding the data. Do you send it to a central place? Is it how secure is it? Who has access? How are you guys protecting it? I think the reality is for this type of technology, it needs to be open and encouraging, not just actually having conversations with people, but actually allowing people like myself and, and, and others, uh, like sounds like Kevin as well, to get access to these APIs, to work with these, Absolutely. to start to experiment and build stuff. Uh, instead of taking my meds two at a time, four hours apart, what if I took one at a time, two hours apart? Um, and, and... A gentleman in New Zealand was saying that he was actually rating his, himself during the day and he realized that throughout the days after lunchtime he was feeling bad and that information was actually really key for him when he visited the clinician. We need your help. If you are a startup or know of one who can help collaborate to find solutions for people with Parkinson's, we would love to hear from you. We're all in it together. Thank you.